I was working in human resources at the Pillsbury Company, and I took a leave of absence. When I came back, I was offered the opportunity to lead the community relations function, which included philanthropy, employee volunteerism, community outreach. So that's how I began. And at that point, um, everybody thought, including me, that gosh, I had gotten the easiest job in the whole world, but I've learned very quickly that it was a lot harder to give away money um, respectfully and responsibly. I had to say no a lot more than I got to say yes. I think one of the first things that I wish I had known was about the power of guidelines. When I first started there, we had to turn down 90% of the requests that we got, which really meant that people who were applying, you know, it was just a shot in the dark and good luck uh, more than anything else. Um, over time, we realized that we could sharpen our guidelines and that would give a better chance to grant seekers to um, get funding from us, that we could be clearer, that we could more fairly evaluate uh, proposals and compare apples to apples instead of apples to grapefruits to bananas to zucchini. I think one of the things that often happens in philanthropy is we can be pretty isolated. Um, we generally aren't in organizations with large staffs. There are a few, but um, it's important to reach out and meet other people, to learn from peers. Um, the, what I think is now called the SCAP group uh, was so helpful to me when I first started off. I knew very little and uh, people were so kind to give me help and advice and help me not be isolated, um, that that was really helpful. Um, one of the early pieces of advice that I got for working with family philanthropy is um, reminding me that all of the folks that I worked with, while they are very smart and capable, they are volunteers. They are not employees. This is not their number one priority. So it's important as a staff person to really be that knowledgeable person to give them the cliff notes of effective philanthropy, um, the issues in the community, um, various grant-making strategies, and to do that in a way that, um, you know, we try to give folks three to five good alternatives so that um, they can make wise choices and that they know they can trust you to not put them in a position to make a bad or embarrassing choice so that you can kind of keep moving. 